today's aha, <laughs> which started on my bike ride and really came into fruition as I was walking up this hill, is a totally new way to frame our life path, my life path, um, as what was I committed to? I've it's been a it's been a while now that I've been a little bit fatigued of the way I've told my story because it's just been a series of endings and transitions and events that when I describe the outer are just you know to the to the human mind thought forms it's just like what do any of these have to do with each other and you're just all over the place and the shift that happened today was big the realization that every single step of my path has felt true and real for me because it has been based on a commitment that I didn't verbalize in the past because what I'm seeing now is how unsafe it was to actually speak out from my heart for most of my life because of the strong system of beliefs pressing down on my heart song. And so I always had to sort of do my heart stuff on the very tiny corner of my desk after all of the other belief systems and thought forms were served. So imagine 99% of my life serving something other than what was true for me in the center of my being. And I know that I am not the only one who's had that experience. Um, for many of us, it's too filled with emotion to even touch, let alone stay and feel that. And I don't feel grief about that. I see now the commitment I had made was to free myself to follow my heart. And it's been a process of recommitting because I didn't know what I didn't know at the time. So I went for what was available to me at the moment. And the idea of playing at 125, meaning allowing your expansion your current reality is 100% and allowing expansion into 125% outside your box, expanding your box and committing to that and recommitting to that constantly is really uh, my version of what I was doing without being aware of it throughout my life was this relentless uh, commitment. So what my thought forms labeled as all over the place or all these different transitions was actually my heart recommitting to its truth. So the point is let's not expect to get it right the final answer the first time. <laughs> let's not expect to go from one current reality that we recognize is less than what we're really here to do and that we have more of us to offer in another way. Let's not expect to jump from that to the next perfect box that stays forever. Let's have this amazing capacity to continue to recommit to the ever expanding 125%. Every time we awaken, today I've reached a new 100% with that expansion. So now I recommit to playing at 125. So that means I allow my next expansion to happen. And I am on this hike just sort of breathing with, whoa, you know, how does my life change now that I see every transition I've made in my life as a recommitment to my ever-expanding heart, my ever-expanding learning, my ever-expanding perfection, not perfectionism, but my already here perfection being perfected by this expansion. 
it's it's incredibly exciting <clears throat> to have this new way of seeing myself and shining in the world as not having to, to justify it as oh I'm still a doctor I mean that's just that was one small box and label and function it is not who I am and it's not who anyone is even if you call yourself a doctor it's not who you are it's not the totality of your being it's a function <clears throat> that you serve for a portion of the time in your life on this planet and interactions and you know there's so much more of you available to be expressed and here to serve and to integrate into those roles maybe and you have within you the possibility to choose to be anything that you desire at any time and so I, uh, you know, I, there was a big part of me that was really annoyed when someone would say, hey, you're a doctor, you should understand this this way. And it was usually something really scientific and kind of so not exciting to me. And I realized, you know, I, I, there's a lot of books out now that are trying to explain spirituality or like validate it with scientific evidence and it's great because it reaches people who enjoy reading about scientific evidence. I personally fall asleep reading about scientific experiments to validate experiences that I already know. I've had. I, I just know them without and I have no interest actually in that's just not my love to read the 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 setup of experiments and how they proved whatever or not and uh, so to admit that and to have a degree in biochemical sciences having done a thesis having gone to medical school it's like no I'm not a scientist in that in that way I've lived my own experiments and um, had my own validation through my own experience which I have learning am learning to trust and I choose to trust my own experience and continue this unrelenting learning and testing and learning and testing and not not um, trying to prove wrong. I mean, I think that's that's my big issue with trying to apply the binary null hypothesis kind of entry point of science into these phenomena because that bias going in creates results and that's the whole point of consciousness we can we create the result that we believe in and are already so even those scientific experiments to me doesn't prove that anything is going to necessarily be true for the next human being who walks up in front of me I can't point to that body of evidence to say this will work on you. It's about what do what's happening for you. What do you believe in this moment? That's who you are. And um, that's for me the big, big, big shift of our ages is coming back to trust our own experience, to bring it all back in. I mean, science to me is a way to make it safer because it's over there and the experts you know, did it. So therefore, it's okay. And we really need to experience getting rid of the therefore, that need for an extra layer of someone else outside ourselves to tell us it's okay. We need to bring the it's okay inside and let ourselves be okay with who we are, all of who we are. And um, so this this recommitting, recommitting, recommitting is for me, it's a repair of the layer of shame and guilt and judgment I had because I was comparing my path to what my mind took on and believed as right, sort of the success path of what people are supposed to do. You know, have the job, have the house, have the car, have the family, have the 401k, have the whatever, money in the bank, da da da. 
and there's a long list of what was supposed to be success and in my right wrong split mind I was going about crumbling that by just doing the wrong thing like so this is just another deepening of playing the wrong note the interpretation of this very profound instruction play the wrong note it's not about just going around and screwing things up and pretending that that feels good like oh look I'm I'm playing the wrong note because that's not authentic it's not just doing it wrong for the sake of doing it wrong it's actually looking at where my right wrong got me kind of like trapped me into labeling the things I was already doing my play my exploring my discovery my growth my learning my expansion how did I make that wrong where did I feel wrong where did I make myself wrong I have in order to be wrong you have to have a right so that instruction is so powerful because in order to be aware of something being wrong you 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 have to have a belief system that there's a right in opposition to that so in order to judge something as wrong there has to be this righteousness some kind of safe ground of right over here so to see where that came into play and trapped me and then to love me love the judgment make have it be okay that I made it wrong and see exactly what I was doing in that moment when my when I actually removed the charge of it being wrong is my perfection revealed to me through me through my heart through my play through my joy through my shining through my freedom of movement and expression it's really very profound as I as I continue to see it and talk about it and see more images of where reframing everything as recommitting to my heart and taking the charge off all of the guilt and shame about having done it wrong it's just like it really brings light to every choice that I've made I carry it with a different sense of ownership yes that was me that was the real me speaking through me and I trust the real me I trust the real me to bring me on my perfect path of ever expanding relentless learning so commitment is huge most of us have made commitments to the outer form like I commit to this career path of staying in something for 40 years and retiring I, I commit to this relationship in the outer form what it looks like legally or even a physical arrangement how we live how we interact but what are the inner commitments what are the heart commitments heart commit what are the agreements and commitments you've made in your heart with your heart and how can you how have you honored your heart and how can you allow your heart's commitments to take you on your path of being the true you and bringing the true you into your world how does your world change when you commit to your heart and show up in your world <laughs> enjoy <laughs>